and right. Prayers Ground Radio is on your air. Blessings to you. Post Thanksgiving celebrations on the station that gives you great gospel music. RMC with me, Prayers B, right here on Pico Boulevard. Here's the groove to make you want to move. Children, let's have a good time. All we got to do is get Jesus. Got to get Jesus. Listen to everybody. We got to get it. Say it again. So come on, children, let's have a good time. All we gotta do is get Jesus. We gotta get Jesus. Listen to everybody. We gotta get with one God. Jesus will be there. You can count on. It ain't got nothing to say But if I were you I wouldn't cheat myself If they don't want to go We can't wait for nobody else Thank him because you do Praise him because you so Come on, let's have a so Come on, let's have a I wonder could I say it again so Come on, children Let's have a good time. All we gotta do is get Jesus. We gotta get Jesus. Listen to everybody. We gotta get with one God. Jesus will be there. You can count on the Lord. Thank Him because you do. Praise Him because you. Well, come on, let's have a good time. Well, come on, let's have a good time. I got one more thing I want. Today, we won't do nothing, it ain't got nothing to say. But if I were you, I would cheat myself. If they don't want to go, we can't wait for nobody else. Thank Him because you do. Praise Him because you do. Come on, let's have them. Come on, let's have them. Come on, let's have them. I wanna ask you one more thing. I wanna ask you one more thing. Did you come here to have them? Did you come here to have them? Do you really wanna have them? Do you really wanna have them? Do you know you can have them? Do you know you can have them? God wants you to have them. 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 Now if you really want to have them, and you came here to have them, and you know you can have them, and you really want to have them, you want to turn around and tell somebody, turn around and tell somebody, come on, come on, let's have a good time.
as we get into the groove that makes you want to move on this wonderful Lord's Day, blessings to you. Super nice. Well, here it is again. Happy holidays from all of us here at RMC Studios. Stay tuned. I'm going to keep you turned on to great gospel music. RMC. Fred's Graham Radio is on your air. I'm so glad that once again Christmas time is here So I can see my loved ones I haven't seen since this time last year Sharing peace and love On this day that the Savior was born Spreading joy all around And giving thanks to our Lord My favorite time of the year is Christmas, and my heart is filled with cheer. It's the time I hold so dear. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Extending love.
on the station that gives you great gospel music. Super nice, Pastor Jasper Williams' latest endeavor. Betty, for you in Tennessee, regret to hear of your accident. Be careful. Yeah, the weather's bad back east. And of course, all of you here in Southern California, up north, Sherry, for you and Mama Betty and Russell and Dinky and Stubby and everybody else. Blessings to you from all of us here at Powerful Gospel Radio. KTYM. I got Miller here. I got Miller time coming up. You're going to stay tuned. We got much more for YOU. Werner, here's a sure for our tune to make you want to crew and be at morning, night, or noon. Here's a holiday cheer just for YOU. Let us do it all right here from RMC Studios with me, Press B, on the station RMC. <laughs> A holiday when the hearts are filled for love, joy. A special day for little girls and boys, yeah. While you're hoping to receive your Christmas wish, let's not forget about the Lord. So let him be in the midst of you, yeah. Let him be in the midst of this Christmas. Let him be in the maze, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. Hey. It's Christmas, Christmas, Christmas time. Radio in Inglewood, of course. RMC Studios, wishing you and yours the best of the holiday season. While you're sitting around enjoying plenty, remember there's someone somewhere that won't have any. Always say a little prayer. Stantastic music. Stan Jones, the brothers, right here from all of us at Roscoe's House of Chicken Waffles, going into our 40th year. As the voice of Roscoe's all 40 years, I want to personally wish you and yours the best of the holiday season and thank you so kindly for making Roscoe's House of Chicken Waffles your choice. Remember, for good, wholesome food, serving a pleasant atmosphere, 
here. The place to feed your face is Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles, now with seven locations to serve YOU. Watts Angeles, Manchester and May, Pico and La Brea, Lake and Orange Grove in Pasadena, 730 Broadway in Long Beach, with the Seabird Jazz Lounge, 1514 North Gallery in Hollywood, and of course, Roscoe's LAX at the 405 Freeway. I can't tell you about Roscoe's Disneyland. That's the place you need to have a can in your hand called Pitbull Energy Drinks. That's right. Pitbull, the only energy drink approved by the U.S. government for all the armed forces. It's only from Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. You'll want to be there. Roscoe's open, hey, 8 a.m., closed most nights at midnight, except for the weekend, the Hollywood store, the Long Beach store stays open till like 3 a.m. Roscoe's, the place to feed your face for good, wholesome food served in a pleasant atmosphere. It's Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. Let me do it like this. For Y-O-U, on the station, super nice. From the latest endeavor, here's Tim Rogers and the fellows. They lean in this thing called Happy. For my special guests, my engineer, Paulina, and for Matthew, always stay happy. Tim Rogers and the fellows leaning into this thing called Happy from the latest endeavor. 
you can get this kind of music on AM 1460 Radio, Inglewood, California, Saturday night, midnight, and of course, Sunday mornings from 10 to 1130, Sunday afternoons, 1 to 4, knocking on your door with a great gospel score, and much, much more, the only primetime radio in Southern California, Prayers Graham Radio on AM 1460 Radio, and I have an exciting guest, an exciting guest, just had us to host an event with one of the guys from American Idol. Oh, man, the guy blessed our soul. He has one of the most most unique choirs in the whole, whole wide world, and that is uh, the Long Beach Jordan International Choir. They're super nice. I speak of none other than KTYM's future new personality on the first Sunday at 1600, which is 4 o'clock. I speak of none other than Chris Miller. Chris, how are you, my brother? I am doing well, and you you know what? I'm so glad to be here. I get to see one of the masters at work doing what he does best. Who is that? <laughs> Prez Blackman. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, when we follow you on Sundays, are we doing it pretty much the way you do it? We bringing it to the people the way they want it brought. Is that what yeah, it is? That's exactly right. Chris, Chris, <laughs> let me tell you, man, the word is out. People mm. will be waiting. They will be waiting <laughs> on the first Sunday in December at 4 o'clock this I mean, everybody has texted me and prayers. Can he do it? Can he do it? Prayers. Is he nervous? Oh, yes, we are. But you know what? We are so happy. We're really? so happy. Oh, yeah. You know, we've been on the air for about three years. Uh, another program called Make a Joyful Noise Into okay. the Lord. Mm -hmm. And um, when we decided to come back, it was only after long and hard deliberation. And you know what? I hung around uh, Mr. Prayers Blackman uh. for about <laughs> almost two years before I decided to bring the show back. Man. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're kidding. Well, you know what? We had to see what actually works for people. You know? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> One or two point three. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I, oh, I actually K T Y M fourteen sixty on your AM dial. That's where we that's where we are, you know. Yes, you are, I mean, listen, man, I wanna say congratulations <laughs> to you and the choir and for all your great success at Long Beach Jordan um high school, man. How did you ever get into uh, forming a choir there? Well, you know what, I was in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I was actually in a restaurant and uh, a group had come to see my choir at uh, Dominguez High School. Okay. And they asked me, would you be interested in coming to do the same thing at Jordan High School? Mm. And it, it kind of tweaked my interest. I went over to see what it was all about. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, that's really the, the history of it. After that, we we got involved. And we've been, we've been working that program for 18 years now. No kidding. 18 years, yeah. Wow, and we, we, we've had a lot of talented kids. You know, uh, some of our kids, uh, Mr. Larry Cox is no longer a kid. He's musical director for the artist known as Robin Thicke. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> we have, uh, oh, golly, Clint Gamboa, who's one of the uh, American Idolist top finalists. Clint can sing. Oh, oh, he can sing. And, 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 you know, on the year that Clint was on the program, we also had Jacob Lusk, who is a Jordan International Choir alumni. He came in third place on that particular event. I was impressed because let me, let me tell you why I was impressed. I looked on TV one day and I saw two of my students That's on impressive. American Idol. That's impressive. Ah, man, I couldn't believe it, man. Wow. I just couldn't believe it, yeah. Did you have any tri chip for them? Uh, <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, we, we haven't done tri tip, but we, we have. We do a barbecue uh, blast on the, our last concert of the year. Really? And we get some of the best barbecue from around, and it, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'm, we're going to invite you, you know. <laughs> matter, matter of fact, there is a guy who has been impersonating you, and he's been in seeing our shows this year. Are you serious? I'm serious. Look just like you, man. You're kidding. I'm, no, I'm serious, man. He, he, his, <laughs> his name is Prez, too. Uh, he's yeah, a good guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, after, yeah. After 40 plus years, he's a good guy. Well, I he, he had me fooled because when he said somewhere between Genesis and Revelations, I just knew it was you, man. You really? Know? Oh, yeah. He well, said not, that. That's close. <laughs> that's a good thing, man. So listen, tell us, give us a worldwide preview because uh, you got a new program coming on on the first Sunday in December mm -hmm. at 4 o'clock, which is December the 7th. Mm -hmm. Give us some insight, man, of what's happening with that Miller time. Well, a couple of things. One, we are trying desperately to expand the time that 
great gospel music is on the radio. Mm. That, that, that's our mm. number one focus. We want people when they dial in to hear the best gospel music in America. Then the next thing that we're trying to do is shed some light on the significant events in the community. We have a lot of uh, events that our listeners want to know about. Uh, imagine people who want to go see the, uh, the the Whispers, they know to go to Nokia, but for people who want to see the best gospel artists, we want to tell them where to go. We want to let them know what's going on in the community. And, and, and finally, finally, we want to promote some of the most significant events as well. Mm. There, there are a lot of uh, happening things in the community. Uh, matter of fact, uh, there was a program coming in June. It's like June the 14th. <laughs> I don't know if you heard about it. Pierre. You're kidding. No, You're no, kidding. no, no, no. Mm. It, it, it's a gospel festival. It's going to be at the Carson Civic Center. Uh. Uh, and uh, it's sponsored by, uh, let me see, Press Blackman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, look, and every year, every year. Now, this, this thing has been going for a while. Yes, it And has. it is mm. one of the coolest gospel events. People get all dressed up. You know, we get feeling all jiggy we go and we hear some of the greatest I mean gospel legends matter of fact Lee Williams the world's number one you got that gospel right gospel artist you, now you're talking buddy now, <laughs> your show may last a little bit now <laughs> You got oh, yeah, that oh, right. Oh, Please yeah, believe me. Yeah. I mean, and that's that's what we're about. We want people to know. We want people to know that we got, you know, that God's people have a place to go and be as well. You know what I mean? Well, man. <laughs> I'm glad you alluded to that because June the 14th, 2015, should the good Lord delay is coming, the Honorable Mayor Jim Deere, the mayor of Carson, California, extended the invite, prayers, Graham again, and so we'll be going back to Carson Community Center with the number one artist in the world, Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs, and of course, a special, special treat that's going to be coming for all of you in Southern California and you're going to stay tuned to prayers Graham listen we'll tell you more about that date as 2015 comes in Chris I got a special communication I got to do for the people here in Southern California and around the world but man thank you so kindly anytime you want to be a part of us here at RMC Studios and Paulina Matthew and I we welcome you and Charmaine in the hallway in behalf of Mr. Hudson the owner of Roscoe's we would say to you brother we're looking forward to uh, December the 7th at 4 o'clock I'm telling you I'm I'm straight up. I'm, I'm gonna be late going to church on that day. I'm serious. I may sit in the car and just tune you in, man. And say, hey, what's going to happen, man? Well, it's going to be worthwhile. Really? I'm, I'm telling. Oh yes. I mean, we've been digging up interviews. We got some great stuff coming. We got some great stuff coming. We got a list of community events. We got some great music. Really? Oh yes, man. Brother. Oh wow. I'm gonna look forward to it. All right, man. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Chris Miller. From Miller Time, and of course, Long Beach Jordan High School, I'm Perez Blackman. Here's a special communication that I must share with all of my friends and all of you in Radio Land. No doubt about it. Listen to these words first. Holy, holy. As we get into the holiday season, I want to say this to all of you. Hear me, the words that I'm about to share does not reflect upon RMC management staff or anyone here affiliated. It is strictly the opinion of the executive producer, me, Prez B. This week has been a most arduous week here in Southern California and around the world with a recent verdict of what happened in Ferguson, Missouri. Now, my brothers and sisters, I must say this to you as an advocate of We People Darker Than Blue, known as Black, protesting is fine, but do it in a decent manner because what I have witnessed this week is just plain ignorant and stupid. White America judge us by two eyes, not the ones in our head. Either we're ignorant or we're intelligent. We need to make the choice. Throwing barricades over the 101 freeway, what did that prove? What did it solve? Didn't solve anything except so America, exactly how ignorant we are here in Southern California. Now, if you're gonna protest, protest with education, for instance, how did you know that there wasn't a baby, a newborn, a handicapped person in one of the vehicles that you guys were throwing barricades over the 101 freeway? What if it had been one of your parents, you wanted a loved one of yours? That's not protesting. Protesting is what you do with intelligence, brothers and sisters. I'm not just saying this for Los Angeles, but this goes around the world. You solve nothing by acting ignorant and burning down your cities, vandalizing your cities. That proves nothing. 
I mean, I understand it's Black Friday, but the name of the game is, did you want Christmas gifts early? And the verdict just happened to be in your best favor to go and loot? What did you accomplish? If you really wanted to show solidarity, hear me from prayers, charter a bus, all of you around the world, go to Ferguson, Missouri, and then join in with the people there in Ferguson, Missouri, not here in your cities and burning them down, looting, that solves nothing. The judge's decision, whatever the case is, the Lord will deal with that. The grand jury, granted, I was ticked off. Nine whites, three African-Americans, were they intimidated? That was my question. Did Mr. Darren Wilson have uh, prior preparation to pre prevent what he was gonna do? Who knows? Was he trained properly? Who knows? Did he have enough time to rehearse his statement? Who knows? But now let me give you some education that I want all of you to enjoy and believe this. A person once wrote and said, in order to get over on minorities, put it in print because they never will read it. Throwing rocks and doing all this other stuff here, please believe me, that is not the ticket. I want all of you to know that you must come together. But if you come together, come together. When we did the Dr. King in 1968, there was none of that going on when I was at the University of Notre Dame. None of this went on. I led a march, it was in the papers, at the University of Notre Dame going down Notre Dame Boulevard. We shall overcome. Newspaper articles and clippings will have all of that stuff, you understand? But you never saw any looting. Four of us left the University of Notre Dame walking down Notre Dame Boulevard hand in hand. We shall overcome because we were ticked off. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had just been assassinated. But there was no violence. He was an apostle of nonviolence. Hear this. If you really want to make a statement to police officer Darren Wilson, get yourselves a New York Times newspaper. His address was published. Now, if you really want to make a statement, go to his house, go in front of his house and make a statement that way. Get yourself a New York Times and get his address. You know, we have uh, all kind of uh, equipment today that we can uh, call, text, email, whatever you guys want to do. Hey, then go there and make a protesting statement in front of his residence. But burning down a city, that is no good. And if you look between Genesis and Revelation, there are 66 books in the Bible. In the 19th book of the New Testament, that is the book of Hebrews, you will find Hebrews 13 and 1 starts off, let brotherly love continue. But brothers and sisters, when a police officer stops you, whatever the case is, obey them. If you look between Genesis and Revelation again, in that same said book, the book of Hebrews 13 and 17 says, obey them that has rule over you. That's the Bible, that's the word of God. I must tell you what it says. Don't ever give a police officer a hard time because that's what they're looking for, especially if you're African-American, minority. They're waiting for that. It's hunting season for us. And then in that same said book, as I conclude this communication from Prayers Graham, in Hebrews 13 and the last verse says, salute them that has rule over you. I'm Prayers Blackman. I welcome your communications, your response, Post Office Box 4491, Inglewood, California, 90309. Post Office Box 4491, Inglewood, California, 90309. In behalf of Mr. Hudson, Johnny Morris, Crystal Davis Wells, Kino, David, Lisa, and all of us, hey soups, everybody that makes up Roscoe's, we want to say to you, whatever you do, think with your head and not act on your heart's emotion. Until then. Here's a surefire tune to make you want to croon. Let's get into it, be it morning, night, or noon. From the latest endeavor, here's Melvin Williams and the William Brothers. Let's lean into this. Tell you that 
On the station that gives you great gospel music worldwide, Prez Graham, for all of you in New York, thank you so very kindly. I appreciate you. Got much love for you. And I've got the man that's here today. Paulie, can we get a shot of him while he's tying his shoes up? I got to get a shot of this guy right here, man. This is this is Mr. Mount Tabor right here. Please believe me. huh, Verna, I got your main guy here, Verna. I've got the Reverend Bishop Dr. Keith Brown is here, and uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let me see what he looks like on camera worldwide. There he is. So, ladies and gentlemen, in case you're looking for him, that's what he looks like right there. That's <laughs> Keith. Keith, say hello to us, man. We got we got an interview before you, but then when we come back, we're gonna talk to uh, Dr. Keith Brown, Mount Tabor Baptist Church. But I got Miss Jacqueline Deloach is here, and of course, uh, Jacqueline, let me say welcome to uh, Prayers Graham Gospel Time, and to all of our our good folks around the world and here in the city of Los Angeles, I want to say thank you for coming today. Thank you very much for inviting me. Now listen, you are an author, a philanthropist, uh, you're the who's who, what don't you do? Let's put it like that, huh? I don't babysit anymore. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no, <Okay>. I don't. <laughs> 
Now, people are watching you around the world, and of course, uh, here in Los Angeles as well, Prayers Graham Gospel Time and Prayers Graham Radio, and I'm very honored. Now, listen, someone shared some communications with me that, you know, that you can help people get churches, especially, uh, I, I know uh, uh, Minister Keith Brown want to hear this, $100,000. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <Yes, sir. laughs> Keith, Keith just, <laughs> Let me see. he's right, he's getting his pen out right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, tell us now, tell us around the world, if all the pastors and churches around the world, how does that work? Well, I have been doing this for 40 years. Okay. My father was a pastor. Mm. I was married to a pastor for 20 years. Oh, wow. And I've been faithful to my church for additional 20 years so i'm used to raising funds for churches now where your church my church is in linwood california greater emmanuel temple okay now i went to north carolina several years ago a church burned down they called me and asked me to come help them i was there for six months i helped them raise two hundred fifty thousand dollars wow. in six months really what i have found out that people want to give mm -hmm. and out of the 7.2 billion people in the world America is number 13 on giving. People want to give. We have not because we ask not. Mm. And we ask, they're ready to give. They're going to give that money to somebody. Okay. Why not you? Okay. Why not here in the Los Angeles Basin? I have a seat on prayers grab available, so you can take the seat. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got a seat. i got two or three seats available. <laughs> I brought a little stats here. Okay. The United Way received $4.26 billion in donations. Billion? Billion in one Jeez. year. The Salvation Army, $4.8 billion. The Goodwill, $4.9 billion. There's a lot of money out here. Lots of money. And it's time for us to receive the money and keep it in our community and do some great things right here in Los Angeles Basin. Wow. Billions. Billions. And you was trying to get a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you asking just too little for our big God. Really? Yes. When Pastor and Minister Keith Brown come, I'm gonna see if we can put something together <laughs> that, that we can get some of those billions, you know what I mean? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> really? Huh? Absolutely. So now when you uh do this uh in your years I mean, what do you need? I mean, I, I need some devoted people that really? don't mind being motivated because I'm the one who will keep you motivated. I will stay in contact with you. I will be your fundraising coach. Really? And I will help you raise that money. I will help you get those billions. I'm getting nervous. Uh, uh, Reverend Keith Brown is still writing. He, I mean, he's just writing. I hope he got enough ink in that pen. <laughs> really? And so listen, churches that are in need in our city and um, um, what can you recommend to them? Well, they need to call me. That's what they need to do. Okay, give us and a number. And they can call me on my cell phone, which is 310-714-1707. 310-714-1707. I will sit down and I will customize them a plan and we'll make it happen. You've been around the world. You, you Your name is very well known. And, of course, we are honored that you're here on Prayers, Graham. I had to twist her arm to get here, but <laughs> how be ever. I mean, I wanted this information shared. The church just now starting up, and um, they're, they're trying to go somewhere. What would you recommend to them as far as raising funds? Well, I would say to them what they need and what they want, somebody wants to give it to them. Okay. So they just need to position themselves, align themselves with where they need to be, and that needs to start right here, and I'm going to put them in the right track so that they can get the money that God wants to send to them. Mm. It's just that simple. Really? It's just that simple. Chris Miller, I hope you're writing this down too, Chris. I hope, I hope, I hope you're writing this down. <laughs> Because I don't, want, I don't want Reverend Keith Brown to get everything and take back to Mount Tabor, which I know that's what he's going to do. <laughs> so now as we continue to thrive and go toward 2015, where does Jacqueline Deloach see herself going and doing as far as helping? God has given me the ministry of help, so I will always be around as long as God gives me breath in my body helping ministries because that's my heart. Really? I just love the people of God. 
and I believe that, and I know for a fact God loves me, and he loves us, and he wants us to have the best. So there's no reason why we hmm. do not have the best, because that's always been his desire. And if we align ourselves with him, he will give us everything that we need. It's already right here in the body. Mm, it's really? right <clears throat> here. Well, now, what I want to do is, uh, before Chris Miller, before <laughs> Reverend Keith Brown, I'm going to make sure you have five seats on prayer's ground. <laughs> uh, on a serious note, on a serious note, uh, we want to wish you a post uh, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving Thank on you. yesterday. Yes, by the time this broadcast wife. airs, yes. and um, I want to find out what or how can you help uh, you know people like you know ourselves and Chris and Reverend Brown. When we, if we would do concerts, uh, let's put it like prayers, Graham. Okay, now, uh, what do we do to, in order to raise funds to uh, help our ministry? Because we're not a church. I'm just an old country boy that loved the Lord and I love producing gospel concerts. And, and by the way, you, you are in time because this is our fundraising month, November, wow. as we get ready to close out November. Wow. Sunday, by the way, those of you in L.A. and around the world would like to be a blessing. Let me say thank you, first of all, for being a blessing to Prayers Graham Radio and Prayers Graham Gospel Time. You may send your tax-deductible donations to Prayers Blackman, Family Media, or Prayers Graham, Post Office Box 4491, Inglewood, California, 903. Post Office Box 4491, Inglewood, California, 90309. Thank you so very kindly. I appreciate it. Much love to all of you that have supported us. Kathy Michelle, thank you. Cheryl Winborn, thank you so much uh, for all of you. Mama Pauline Garrett, and the list goes on and on and on and on. I've got Jacqueline Deloches here, and she's going to show us exactly how we can benefit. I'm just excited to hear all the billions, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the billions have just really <laughs> I don't even need a billion, okay? A, a billion, I don't even know. Don't need that. All we need is just maybe a 6.5 million. Wow. We go ahead and buy KTYM. The rest is history. You know, they wow. have the rest. I don't even care. Huh? We definitely need to do that. Yeah. And work, with us working together, we can make it happen. Wait, say that again. With who working together? We, you and I. And She's our already team on prayers, Graham. She's already, already on prayers, Graham. Okay. <laughs> the rest of y'all come and join us, okay? <laughs> so listen, now for those um, individuals uh, that need notary, uh, you, you can handle with that, too? I am a mobile notary public, and I teach notary education. So oh, really? If anyone wants to become a notary, they can call me, and I will show them how to become a notary. I have been in the bail bond business for 15 years. Oh, really? And what has amazed me, I can watch families that their utilities was about to be cut off, and they didn't have food in their refrigerator, but they could come up with $10,000 in the middle of the night. That's pooling together. That wow. shows me that it can be done. We can do whatever we set our minds to do. That's just so amazing. Give us your phone number again. It's 310-714-1707. Miss Jacqueline Deloach is here on Prayers Graham Radio, Prayers Graham Gospel Time. And, of course, if you uh, need someone or uh, education wise to uh, you know, have someone to be a philanthropist through your organization or your church, uh, this is the uh, brainchild the Lord has entrusted us here on earth to know. And we're honored. I was certainly moved by it. I said, this flyer here, this is $100,000? Yeah, okay, that sounds pretty good to me. I can go for this right now, you know? But anyway. As we come into the holiday season, I want to say to you, uh, hope you have a great holiday season, and I want you to um, uh, stick around if you have time, because when we come back on Prayers Graham Gospel Time, which is certainly, you know, without uh, music interruption, I'm going to have uh, Chris Miller, Reverend Keith Brown is going to kick us off. Um, no doubt about it, he's a member of the Great Mount Tabor Baptist Church as they get ready for their 56th church anniversary this uh -huh. coming weekend, starting Sunday and the first Sunday in December. They'll have a 8 a.m., 11 a.m. service on this coming Sunday. Uh, guests, uh, exciting guests. Uh, they have the Curry Temple family is going to be there, and uh, they're going to have, uh, coming up, they're going to have uh, Pastor A.D. Iverson. Uh, I'm going to try to get there, but Miller comes on at 4 o'clock on that first Sunday, and they got Pastor Richard Williams is going to be coming there. I mean, it's going to be exciting, 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 Victory Institutional Baptist Church, and oh man, it's just going to be a great blessing uh, starting on this coming Sunday, November the 30th. 
Yeah, it's going to be a nice 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. And then they're going to have on the first Sunday in December, they're going to have the 8 a.m. and 11 a.m., two great speakers. And, of course, Sunday afternoon, the climax on December the 7th, 345, is going to be Dr. A.D. Iverson, but Pastor Keith Brown, mm. he's going to be telling us about this on Prayers Graham Gospel Time. So all of you stay tuned, and we're going to get ready to wrap up this great show here. But, listen, you stay tuned and uh, hang on because I'm sure these brothers are going to sandwich you in, <laughs> and you're going to have to give some information up on the station that cares as we get back. Back in the music, wrapping things up on this holiday season. Our guest, Miss Jacqueline the Loach, Chris Miller is here. And of course, coming up on Prayers Graham Gospel Time, we've got the world famous, the man that charges me a lot of money at Mount Tabor, and that is Minister Keith Brown. So maybe I have a solution for him right now. Coming up as we ease into the holiday season, let's do it like this for YOU. for me. Time flies when you're being gospel rise. I'm Brad Blackman. Join me next weekend at 168 hours in the future. Hey, it'll be December. Joy to the world. Always remember to give thanks. America, keep looking up. God is always looking down. What you are is God's gift to you. What you do with yourself is your gift to God. From all of us here at AM 1460 Radio in Inglewood on Sunday. Hey, but in the meantime, Mr. Hudson Kino for Charmaine, for Paulina and Matthew, and for all of us, Crystal and Johnny, everybody here at RMC Studios, wishing you and yours the best of the holiday season. Join me this coming weekend. That's right, on the station that cares, Powerful Gospel Radio, KTYM, Saturday midnight, going into my 40th year. And, of course, Sunday morning from 10 to 11.30, Sunday afternoons, 1 to 4, knocking on your door with a great gospel score and much, much more. Until then, America, with love and blessings for YOU, enjoy. And remember, always give praise and thanks. I'll be back. I'll see you on Prayers Graham Gospel Time with Miss Jacqueline Deloach, Reverend Keith Brown, and Chris Miller on the station RMC.
welcome to Prez Graham Gospel Time. Right here, I'm Prez Blackman, saying happy holidays to YOU. In the background, brothers, yeah, family celebration. Prez Graham Gospel Time today, an exciting guest, an exciting guest. Oh, man, this is Mr. Western Avenue at 67th. I speak of none other than the administrator. Pastor, Reverend Bishop, Dr. Keith Brown, sir, welcome to Prayers Graham Gospel Time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we are so excited to see you. No ifs, ands, and buts about it because uh, I've always talked about you on all of our broadcasts, the guy that rips me off. And let me just say to all of our, <laughs> wor all of our worldwide people that's listening, uh, uh, Reverend Keith Brown is the administrator of Mount Tabor Baptist Church and did a wonderful job in helping us to get uh, Pastor Jasper Williams Jr. to Mount Tabor. And I want to say personally on behalf of all the prayers, Graham, for Miss Wendy Jones, who is uh, recuperating. Wendy, we got much love for you and wishing you to hurry up and get back, no doubt about it. Uh, Dr. Charles Williams, Dr. J.C., Mary, uh, Lily. Uh, Ms. Vernon Woodfox, uh, Deacon Ray Carpenter, Ms. Crystal Ingram, I want to say to all of you that have been so kind and to have you, and of course, without saying to Dr. Ticey M. Brown, the pastor of Mount Tabor, we appreciate all the support that you all have shown us and given us as we present Pastor Jasper Williams, Jr. Chris, you can come on in, man. It's not like KTYM. Now, Reverend Keith Brown, it is such a yes, joy to see you, man. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, you might even get a little break here uh, the next time. I, <laughs> I was uh, uh, honored to be in here with uh, Sister Jacqueline Deloach, and uh -huh. uh, so well, I, I know I, you were. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, a blessing there, divine uh, order. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I do appreciate the, Wait, the privilege. Divine that order I, uh, to be here on today <laughs> instead of Sunday. <laughs> Had something come up and couldn't get here, but. Uh, uh, yeah, divine order that we're here and uh, certainly are grateful. Uh, and I do want to say thank you for even considering Mount Tabor to bring uh, Jasper Williams to Mount Tabor. It was truly a blessing uh, for us. Uh, we're mm. so grateful for that. Please say hello to one of your church uh, uh, members that was so kind enough to get me the information. That is Miss Verna J. Woodfox. So she's watching you right now. All right, Sister Woodfox. That's a good friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> you and Hello, Carpenter. How are you doing? <laughs> I didn't get to catch you at church Sunday, but uh, thank you so much for getting um, for getting prayers uh, information. So listen, tell me what's going on. What, what's happening? Well, we've got uh, coming up this weekend, uh, we start our 56th church anniversary mm -hmm. uh, at 8 and 11 o'clock. We have a guest coming to us from up in Oakland, uh, Dr. Lester Cannon. Mm. Uh, so we're excited about uh, having him here uh, for the first time. And of course, we culminate our services on um, uh, 11, I mean, at uh, the following Sunday, first Sunday at 8, 11, and 345. And of course, one of the sons of the house, uh, Richard Williams, will be there at 11 o'clock. And then we close out with Dr. Iverson uh, from Paradise. And they always will have a place in our heart because the late Dr. Stafford mm -hmm. came from Paradise. So right. we have a great and lasting relationship with them. Mm. Now, you are the administrator. How do you become a big time administrator? Uh, well, you know, if I go back and give you the history, uh, this is not a job I was looking for. Really? Uh, <laughs> and uh, when Dr. Stafford hired me 16 years ago, he uh, oh. he called me in a, um, a general manager. Okay. So I never knew what that was in a church. <laughs> and in a way, I'm kind of glad I found out there was a, a professional um, association called administrators uh, mm. that handled the business of the church. And if you were looking at this position uh, in corporate America, it would be like the CFO, uh, the persons that are wow. responsible for all the finances. No and, kidding. Uh, yes, sir. So now, now that you mentioned that, can I get a break the next time we come? <laughs> <laughs> Jacqueline, I want to know up front, around the world. Can I, can I get a break? I just want to know I, that. I say you might get one. No, 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 no. I can't have Mike. Since this was divinely orchestrated, I want to make sure I divinely <laughs> get a break. Yeah, maybe, now that I think about it, maybe you set it up that way. <laughs> 
you, <laughs> you're watching you're watching Prez Graham Gospel Time seen around the world here at RMC Studios on Pico Boulevard, right across from Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. And of course I have my very exciting guest that is the administrator of Mount Tabor. Um, that is uh, the right Reverend Keith Brown. And of course we have Miss Jacqueline DeLoach who is going to help all of us get some billions. Okay. I got Chris Miller just walked in. Chris, you can you can come and find a chair, man. And uh, because you were already here and the same token by token, you can pull something up while I'm talking, and then they'll go ahead and make sure things are right. So all of my good friends that's watching right now, thank you so very kindly. And uh, my engineer, Paulina, is just, y'all give Paulina a hand for me, will you? All right. Yeah. I'll give it, I mean, she's just so exciting, you know, to make sure things are right. Now, we're going to switch the cameras over to Miss Jacqueline DeLoach um, and, uh, because this is exciting. Now, you've got two great, you got three men in here now. <laughs> And uh, I don't need a billion. I don't know about Pastor Keith Brown and myself uh, and Chris. I don't need a billion, okay? <laughs> All I need. What? Not a billion. No. no. <laughs> but I don't know. Keith, on the other hand, I don't know, you know. You know, <laughs> being in finance, not, not a billion. I didn't expect that much. Uh, but certainly, um, uh, I mean, that's, that's exciting news to hear uh, yeah. because we know that uh, just a small percent of that churches could help um, you know, help the community. And when you think about it, uh, look at how many churches that have been struggling mm. in the last few years mm -hmm. that have actually had to close their doors. Uh, it's really a tragedy that this much um, money is being given and the churches are not receiving it. So, wow. yeah, so this is truly a, a blessing to, to get to meet uh, Ms. Jacqueline <laughs> and, um, and, you know, uh, get, get enough money we can share uh, with some of the other churches in the That would be exciting. Community. Yes, sir. Before we go any further, I want you to personally please uh, say hello to uh, Reverend Nelson for me. Uh, please say hello to him for me. Uh, Reverend Nelson, that's, yeah. uh, again, uh, a good partner of mine at the London Automotive Car Care located mm -hmm. at 2025 West Florence. Uh, if you really want uh, uh, good quality uh, automotive services provided at a reasonable rate, uh, come and check uh, Reverend Nelson out. He's been there almost 40 years. Wow. Uh, so he's been in the neighborhood, and uh, he's going to be around. And uh, depending on when you come, you might just find me there. Uh, so we, uh, uh, we thank you um, um, in advance for coming and, uh, and fellowshipping and coming and, and sharing with us. Uh, in the neighborhood. He's right around the corner from the church. So, That's true. Very true. Uh, he is in the neighborhood. So listen, now, uh, Mr. Loach, in your efforts of getting these billions, uh, tell us, all three of us, so we'll know uh, what we need to do. And people around the world that's watching you. I'm going to help us. I say us here okay. in the room, here in our city, okay. state of California. I'm going to help us raise some serious money to do some serious things. And the reason I say that there's some major organizations out there that raise their billions mm. and they actually, let's say, squander 90 percent of it. Mm. And only 10 percent actually goes back to our communities. Really? And that has been a problem. With us in this room, we realize that there's things that we need in our community and we're going to make sure that our money stays in the, compu in the community probably 90% will stay in the community and only 10% for whatever we have to do our expenses to make sure that the money is raised. How can we, um, uh, who governs that when money is like that there's, allocated? There's several watchdog organizations that they actually have watching them that they can lose their tax exemption for raising the money. There's several of them, and I do have a list, and you and I will go over okay. that. Right. I'll show you the problems, and we have a solution. I hate problems without a solution. Yeah, I so hate we, problems, period. <laughs> 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 so I know the problem is time for the solution now, okay. and it's going to take us working collaboratively, and it's going to take us pooling what, all of our time, talents, and treasures together because the money's out there, so it's not the money's fault. Mm. Just do the math. Really? Chris, yeah. now you're from the Seventh-day Adventist world. You all don't have that problem, right? Because you guys... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, Keith and I both, Reverend Brown and I, we, we're Baptists. <laughs> <laughs> so we know we're going to have that problem. 
<laughs> no, we 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 need uh, we need money too, and there, there are a lot of like great projects that that we participate in. Uh, for example, last night we were down at um, Mission Row on St. Julian, feeding the homeless and uh, those who need uh, who are in need right now as we speak. Mm -hmm. And what one of the things I realized is that we're a church based in Compton, but we were downtown in L.A. Yes. And and I'm thinking that. Uh, next year we're going to be in Compton and in LA at the same time, and and it takes some resources. Yeah. We we had about three trucks full of food, clothing, toiletries, really? uh, blankets, and it, it, it's important because there are a lot of people who are in need. And and I I, I mean, if you've ever been in downtown in LA in the daytime, uh, that's one thing. But when you go at night and you mm. see the number of people who are sleeping on the streets. Sleeping on the streets, uh, you, you, you got to, your heart goes out, and, and we know that uh, most of those people won't be there always, but for a period of time, for a season, they need our assistance, and it takes funds to do it. It, yes, it really does. It, it takes funds, and it takes the goodwill of the community to take a good look and see what it is that we can do. Yeah. I'm Prez Blackman. You're watching Prez Graham Gospel Time, seen around the world. For all my friends in Little Rock, Arkansas, thank you so very kindly. Georgia, love and blessings. Hope you had a great holiday. Betty, again, on Prez Graham Gospel Time, want to say to you, hey, blessings. Hope you feel better from your car accident. Stephanie, down in Pennsylvania, hey, I got much love for you. I would be there, but it's a bit cold. <laughs> and, of course, you, you understand, I would be there. I do respect and appreciate you all wanting us there for Prez Graham Gospel Time. But at the same token, it's about 80 some degrees here right now. <laughs> so I think I'll just stay right here in Southern California. But on a serious note, we thank you all for watching us back there. And of course, uh, uh, Verdine, thank you so kindly, who's Lerman Harden's sister. Yeah, one of the great songwriters here in our city, and you know, ZZ Hill, and so Bobby Bland, and so many great, great artists. And I love you back there. Thank you so very kind. All my home folks in South Bend, Indiana, hey, I got much love for you, no doubt about it. And glad you're watching us here in Southern, Southern California because it is, well, there's gorgeous outside. I mean, it's just unbelievable. We're scheduled to have some rain uh, by Monday, but right now, today, it's great. And all these communications brought to you by Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. Of course, Roscoe's the place to feed your face. Now with seven locations to serve YOU. Los Angeles, Manchester and Maine, Pico and La Brea, Lake and Orange Grove in Pasadena, 730 Broadway in Long Beach with the Seabird Jazz Lounge, 1514 North Gower in Hollywood, the original location since 1975. And of course, Roscoe's LAX at the 405 Freeway. And now, knocking right next door to Disneyland and trying to be their friend is Roscoe's Anaheim. That's right, Roscoe's Orange County is there right now. Oh. So remember, for good wholesome food served in pleasant atmosphere, the place to feed your face is Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. And don't forget about Pitbull Energy Drinks. That's right, the only energy drinks approved by the U.S. government for all the armed forces. Many great flavors. Pomegranate blueberry, they have the fruit punch, and no aftertaste, and of course, no crash and none of that garbage. It's Roscoe's. So when you drink Pitbull, just imagine you're drinking chicken and waffles. Hey, it's so good. <laughs> Roscoe's, the place to feed your face. For 40 years, you've had my name on it, of course, for all of us. Diane, of course, DV Marketing. We cannot forget about Arabella, the new heir to the throne. I want to say hello to my son and Happy birthday to him. Prez has now reached that small age of 40, and we want to see, wow, I can't tell, folks, I'm 37 anymore, so <laughs> therefore that's not going to happen. You're watching Prez Graham Gospel Time right here at RMC Studios with Paulina and Matthew and, of course, Charmaine in the hallway. And uh, Arthur is out there somewhere, and I've got uh, exciting guest today, Reverend Keith Brown of the Mount Tabor Baptist Church, and, of course, uh, Mr. Chris Miller, who's going to be debuting a great broadcast on KTYM on uh, right. December the 7th at right. 4 p.m. And Miss Jacqueline DeLoach is here, who's going to help us all get $4.2 billion. That's right. You understand? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Brown, <laughs> how far since you are the CFO, how far will $4.2 billion go? go? We we wouldn't be able to spend it all. I mean, <laughs> we wouldn't be able to spend it all. We, uh, <laughs> really? Uh, you know, be able to buy up all of a of, uh, big portion of Western and still. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> huh? and, but more importantly, be able to help a lot of people. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 
you have some information you wanted to share with us, right? Yes, uh, I wanted to uh, make sure that uh, people are aware of the Affordable Care Act. Uh, you know, many people call it the Obamacare. Uh, you know, open enrollment was uh, started back on November the 15th, and mm -hmm. it's open until February uh, the 15th. And we partnered with the Green Foundation uh, community-based organization uh, to provide uh, certified counselors or enrollers. And every Wednesday evening, they can come out to the church from 6 to 8 and uh, just get information if that's all they need, if they need uh, the evaluation of the current plan or need to purchase a plan uh, without health insurance, certainly want to come out. If you want to make uh, an appointment, you can call 562-293-3055. Again, that's 562 293 If you call, you can schedule an appointment, but uh, you don't need an appointment to come out. Again, that's on Wednesdays from 6 to 8 at Mount Tabor Missionary Baptist Church. We're located at 6614 Southwestern Avenue, and that's in Los Angeles, 90047. Uh, and you can also call the church, 323-753-3189. Wow. Now, this uh, affordable health care, is that something that we all need? Uh, you know, uh, when they opened it up um, uh, last year, we had a lot of people who didn't take advantage of it. And certainly, um, I admire the president for tackling such a, um, a big task. But uh, everybody needs to at least check. Uh, if you have a health insurance program at your job and you're happy with it, then stay with it. But if you currently don't have any insurance or questioning as to whether or not you got the best value on the insurance you have, it doesn't hurt you any, uh, and it doesn't cost you anything to at least come out and talk to one of the qualified enrollers, mm. and they can at least give you an evaluation and help you understand if what you have is good or just show you the open market, which that's the advantage of this uh, affordable care, is that they have a market out there of insurers that want to get your business, and therefore they have to be, um, uh, they have to have affordable rates. And the quality of the policies um, have increased as well. Wow. Reverend Keith Brown, Mount Tabor Baptist Church, on Prayers Graham Gospel Time. Now, let me ask you, uh, as people go through life, uh, and the president will be out of office real soon. Will this stop? Well, you know, they are constantly <laughs> trying to come up with um, uh, the languages repealing the Obamacare, and I really don't think that that's going to happen. Mm. It'd be difficult for someone to come and take insurance away from millions of folks who have it now that never had it and never could get it before the Affordable Care Act. Uh, because now uh, you can get insurance even if you have pre-existing conditions. And oh, if, really? Uh, you had insurance before, or tried to get it before, an insurance company could drop you if you had a pre-existing condition or just not offer you any insurance at all. So that's one of the benefits uh, of having this Affordable Care Act. It doesn't matter if you already have pre-existing conditions, you're still qualified to get insurance. In fact, they only ask you a few questions. What's your date of birth? Uh, and what's your sex. And if you want some of the credits, they'll ask for income. But other than that, that's the only questions that you have to answer. No kidding. And then that's it. That's it. Wow. Reverend Keith Brown, and let me say uh, again on a personal note to you, thank you for being one of the vocalists uh, on the summer revival that was held at Mount Tabor with Pastor Jasper Williams. We, we were getting all kind of communications. I didn't know he sang prayers. I just thought he counted money. You know what I'm saying? No, this is some of your old members. Some of your old members, no. This is some of your, this is, this is some of your old members. Prince, you, you come back again because we've been here for years. We never seen him sing, but we seen him. We've seen him handle the baskets with, with the offering time. Oh. Oh. I, I told Prez he set me up. <laughs> Put me on there with his son one night and somebody else there. So I, I told him he set me up. But you handle it, though. You handle it. <laughs> Pastor Jasper Williams, the number one preacher in America, if he's, if he's impressed, you understand? Uh, and, yeah. plus you, and plus you got all your, your main church, um, Lanny Foster and, uh, of course, Miss Verna Woodfox and uh, mm -hmm. Crystal Ingram and Deacon Bray Carpenter. And you, know, and you got uh, Deacon Miles and, and uh, Deacon Phillips. You got, you, see, you, got, you got all your little bodyguards around there. So you got that is made, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> One or two to look out for. Is that what it is? <laughs>
As we uh, come into the 2015, Mr. Loach, uh, will these billions that's out there, will they still be around? They will still be around. God no kidding. put them aside for us. They're not going to go anywhere until we claim them. Really? And it's time for us to do it right now. No kidding. No kidding. Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Miller. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He probably feels like I do. It's, this is uh, divine order. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that we're here today. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I was in Compton feeding yes, yesterday myself okay. at Explore. Okay. We don't have a community center in Compton that can hold the masses. Oh, my god. We goodness. just built a smaller community center there. Okay. We need a place where we can go, have no nothing against the Carson Center. Mm -hmm. We need our own. Right. That's we true. need our own. That's true. Very true. And I agree with that 100%. We need to bring our own food in. We have yeah. to use their caterers. And I can cook. My daughters all cook. I got six of them. We you, can cater all that see, for we you. Don't know but we that. can't do that thing. <laughs> You didn't bring us in here today. So I'm not going to cook today. <laughs> <laughs> we need our own place where we can bring our food, where we can cater. Yeah. 4.2 billion. That money will make it happen. 4.2 billion can let us buy a whole bunch of places. Thank you, Pastor. I'm ready to work with All right. you. She <laughs> already has my card. I'm, mm. I haven't approved mm. this time already. So. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Mm. I should have known. Divine order. Let's remember that. I'm going to use Friday, that. Hey, uh, Friday after Thanksgiving. This is this is my Black Friday shopping. Mm. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're listening to Prayers Graham and watching Prayers Graham Gospel Time right here at RMC Studios every Friday from 1230 to 2 for YOU around the world. And we want to say to all of our friends in Florida, all of you that's back there in Jersey, hey, blessings to you and uh, good afternoon, good evening, and I'm grateful that you're watching and thank you so much for supporting prayers graham gospel time and for all of you that come to los angeles and you must dine at roscoe's thank you so very kindly in behalf of mr hudson and kino and the entire roscoe's family we appreciate you there are many restaurants in our city there are many eateries in our city but we're so grateful that you decided to stop by one of the seven roscoe's house of chicken and waffles and of course all of the hollywood family we certainly thank you there and pico and la brea we got much love, Kino and Lisa and David and uh, everybody that's right across the street. Here at Brownstones, we've got Clive Jackson that's right here in the front of us. And, of course, some of the best, best Cajun food you ever want to have is right here at Brownstones. So, yeah, Clive Jackson, uh, he has the best sweet potato uh, cheesecake you've ever had in your life. It's right here. Yeah, huh? Oh, it's good. Yeah, it is good. Oh, man, yeah, good. I know you know. I know you know it's good. I know you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is a wonderful day here. And I am just so excited to have my guest, Miss Jacqueline Deloach, and of course, uh, entrepreneur, uh, philanthropist, author, notary. Uh, the, she's the female uh, finance ambassador, okay? <laughs> Chris yeah. Miller, who is joining us today from uh, Long Beach Jordan High School and Miller Time, getting ready to happen at KQIM on the first Sunday in December at uh, 4 p.m. And, of course, the CFO of uh, the Mount Tabor Baptist Church, that is the Reverend Keith Brown, yes. is here today, and I'm just excited. So, now listen, on this insurance deal, uh, you were saying that they have a pre-condition. Uh, so if someone said had, uh, like, diabetes or, or cancer, whatever the case is, they can qualify? They can qualify now, and it's not rated. Because really? if they don't ask that question, then they don't know what kind of pre-existing condition you have. And under the old insurance rules, if you had that kind of condition, they could rate you up or charge you more for a person the same age. Um, and now they can't do that. It's simply, uh, you know, and I went through the process myself, so I know exactly the questions that are asked. And it's, you know, what's your date of birth? Um, you know, what's your sex, um, and that's it. And then you can go out and get a quote on insurance right online. But if you're not uh, computer savvy, again, uh, we have enrollers, and they have them in various churches around the city. Uh, but just go see an enroller. It doesn't cost you anything, just a little bit of your time uh, to find out what the rates are. In fact, when I went through the exchange, I was able to get a better policy <clears throat> for less money than I was spending before. Really? Yeah. Right. No kidding. 
Mm. Now, when they, okay, let me just bring this in. When they holler about what is your sex with our world today and having, um, you know, that, that, that kind of situation, uh, how do you handle that? Well, wanna, they're, they're going to have to declare one or the other, and, uh, you know, it will have to be verified. I mean, that, that question has come up since you have some people who are, you know, transgender and that kind of thing. I mean, the issue has to come up, and I think what determines that is what's on your birth certificate. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Miller, you did because, that? Okay. because you will, uh, if there's a question, they'll ask you to verify that. Uh, if you're not in the in the system, your Social Security number, you will have to give that on there, uh, and they'll verify if you're documented or not. Uh, but uh, that'll be determined by what's on your birth certificate. Mm. Now, can we get a, a loan for that, too? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Don't, no loans. Let me say this. I have a person that I know that got a loan about two weeks ago. They bought $500. They charged them $1,000. Really? And they have to pay that money back in 30 days. I said, why is that happening? Really? Why? Well, I, you know, they've, they've had this thing with these um, uh, payday loans and charging people seven or eight hundred percent. And it's really a tragedy. It is a tragedy. Um, and I'll, I'll say this. This is not something that was on, the, on, on this list, but I'm teaching a class now, Financial Peace by Dave Ramsey. Uh, we're into the seventh week, and it's amazing some of the changes people are making in their lives. And it's designed really to help you determine or you dictate where your money goes yes. uh, versus mm. your money dictating where you go. Oh, mm. wow. uh, okay. And it's a change in the mindset, and you yes. start getting control over where your money goes. It's amazing uh, how much better off we'd be. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and then when you look at statistics, especially in our community, um, and I think Jasper had mentioned that that our money mm -hmm. doesn't stay in the community right. 30 minutes, right. you know, Not 30 minutes, and it's out. So we're, you know, we have a lot of buying power, but we're spending it on things that uh, deteriorate, uh, that depreciate, uh, things that that doesn't mean very much. Wow. And, uh, and so if we can uh, we can get control of that, we wouldn't be in that position. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. As we wrap up this day here, I want to say to my guest, uh, you. Uh, I'm going to see evangelist Jacqueline Deloach and to uh, Mr. Chris Miller and Reverend Keith Brown. I want to say thank you all so kindly for taking out of your post-Thanksgiving schedules to come and be with us on Prayers Graham Radio and Prayers Graham Gospel Time. It was thank good to you be so. here. Good Thanks to be for here. twisting my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Divinely. Divinely. Hey, was the, it, thank you. Great twist. <laughs> twist yeah. Twist yeah. All right. Okay. As we prepare... As we prepare to leave you, thank you so very kindly. My son takes me home. His prayers is latest endeavor on the Christmas holiday. I want to thank my guests again. Thank you for watching around the world. Thank you for in Southern California. Always remember this. Do some good in your neighborhood like you should. That's good in the worst, better in the best. When I make the worst of stone, super prayers, black men's natural best. In the world of communication, there are many voices, but there's only one voice. I remain sincerely the master's announcer until 168 hours again. Meet us here at RMC and then till Saturday midnight right in Inglewood on KTYM. Then Sunday morning from 10 to 11.30. Sunday afternoons, 1 to 4, knocking on your door with a great gospel score and much, much more. I want to thank my engineers, Matthew and Paulina. Thank you so kindly. DV Marketing, Charmaine for all of us here, from Reverend Keith Brown, for uh, Chris Miller, for Miss Jacqueline Deloach. I'm Prez Blackman. Blessings to YOU. Well, let's do it again. I know Prez was finished so soon. My God. Yeah, we're going to do it like this. For everybody else, on the meantime, I got love for you. I got to go, y'all. Oh. Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Time again for holiday cheer. Family and friends are gathering near. We'll exchange gifts, spend time with the kids, y'all. It's such a good feeling this season. Ooh, well, oh, my man. Christmas to you. Ooh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas to you. And a Merry Christmas.
Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. Christmas to you. Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Everybody sing. Merry Christmas.